We enjoyed the sun, the sun while it lasted, but now the clouds have rolled back in. It's not snowing yet, but the clouds have rolled back in, so we got to move things along here with the storyline. So let's speak with Alpha Node to take on our next challenge entitled Two Sides of a Coin. Alpha Node would like nothing more than to get out of the snow. Forgive me, this is neither the time nor the place for idle introspection. The Knights can apprise Lord Edmont of our success, and we the Lord Commander. More importantly, I should like to see if my sister's condition has improved. You may take a moment for, for yourself if you wish. I'll be at the congregation. And away he goes. So we are, we are going to reconvene with Alpha Node at the Knights Most Heavenly in Ishgard. So let's make our way there right now. Yeah, there are a lot of people still going for their run here for Zelfatal. Of course, we haven't even shown off the main story dungeon yet. Well, I actually have shown off the main story dungeon. I meant the side dungeon, the side story dungeon that Patch 3.4 offers, but I'm going to do that at a later time. For now, we want to go to the Forgotten Knight on the opposite side of Foundation. Because that is where we will find Alpha Node. And it's a bit of a trip to get the warp back over here, but got it, we did. So let's speak with Sir Emmerich, and... Yeah... <laughs> No wonder it took us so long to get over here. Look at all of these people that want to have a meeting with the Lord Commander. And all with the same icons over her their heads, which means only one thing. It brings me joy to see you safely return to us, Matthias. What news from Zelfa told? Well, here's what you need to know. Then we were not too late. On behalf of Ishgard, I offer you my deepest thanks. As for we who remain behind, Mistress Hestola has been tending to Mistress Alice in your absence, and I am pleased to report that she has regained consciousness. I imagine you have many questions, especially given your recent encounter with Wars of Darkness. I know I do. Come, let me show you to her room. Do not worry, her condition is much improved. She is a resilient one, much like her brother. And so now into cutscene. Yeah, Alice is now awake and fully healed. Alize, how are you feeling? Well enough, brother. Thanks to the kindness of our hosts. When they told me you had departed for Zelfatol, I found that I could rest. The outcome seemed a mere formality, as did your safe return. Thank you, my friend. That I could help. I take it your mission was a success? Of course. We got the job done, and here's what you need to know about it. As if we needed any further confirmation that they are in league with the Assians. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of a given. But to save another world? I think not. I too thought his story fanciful at first. But it is possible there may be a kernel of truth in all of this. At the very least, none of his claims contradict the word's account. You were following these people, Alize. Why? During my travels, I had often enjoyed tales of the Scions and their exploits. But after a time, I began to hear whispers of a gifted and theretofore unknown band of adventurers. Adventurers who had supposedly course, sworn to travel to the stop. realm slaying primals in the Scion's stead. The Warriors of Darkness. And in the course of investigating these rumors, you stumbled upon the Asian's involvement. Yes, exactly. Forgive me. But if these warriors of darkness mean to bring about another calamity, to what end do they hunt primals? Good point. To prompt an escalation. 
to deepen the Beast Tribe's feelings of helplessness and despair, and thereby drive them to summon ever more powerful gods. And lest we forget, these events do not occur in isolation. With their patron deities being slain left and right, the news of man's victory over Nidhogg must surely have sown panic in the minds of the Beastmen. Tis no wonder they wish to defend themselves. And so where does that power put us? answered with greater power. Death with more death. A vicious cycle fueled by fear and hatred. I know it's like all too well. Yeah, I know that the storyline, that's um, the story isn't for everyone there, TJ. I mean, I, I don't blame you if it's not your cup of tea. I mean, if you were here half an hour ago, you would have seen the main story dungeon, but you just missed out, I'm afraid. Indeed. The yeah, I see, I see why you're not so impressed by this. And the warriors of darkness reap the harvest. And so it continues. Yet that is not the extent of their ambitions. The Asian himself observed that once the powerless realize that the old gods have failed them, they will have little recourse but to look to a new one. We cannot let that happen. It should come as no surprise, but Alize and I have uncovered evidence that the Asians have been manipulating certain parties to ensure that a constant stream of crystals flows into the hands of the beast tribes. Um. Oh, hello there, Jim, Hu Jim Hoover. Welcome to um, the stream here this evening, and welcome to Let's Play Novora Autism. Um, you, this game is available for sale. Um, it should probably be... I know that right now there is a package that is available that allows you to get both Arami Born and the expansion Heaven's Ward at once. And then after that, um, you would get your first month free after you've... Um, started your accounts and then after that you would you would pay for a subscription fee either monthly quarterly or semi-annually it all depends on if this kind of game is your cup of tea or not some people are already into it some people aren't it depends on what kind of person you are and if this is something that you do appreciate or if you don't appreciate it um this game is at this this game here that I'm streaming right now is an expansion. The original game, um, as far as I know, I think it's still available for sale. Um, but more often than not these days, since this expansion is now over a year old, a lot of people are not only buying the original game, but they're also buying the expansion to go with it. Hence why Square Enix does offer a a combo disc that allows them to play both Arami Born and Heaven's Ward without having to buy two separate items. Um, you do need the main game, actually. You do need the main game in order to get the expansion. If we sever these supply lines, we should at least be able to slow the escalation. Agreed. Kral and I shall journey to Zelfatol and learn what we can of the Ixar's source. Then I, for my part, pledge to lead a similar investigation into the origin of the Nath supply. Sir Emmerich? Yeah, we don't we don't often see him venturing out into the field. As a member of the Eorzean Alliance, Ishgard is on a bound to play an active role in maintaining the security of the realm. You might also say that I have some personal motivation, given the Asians' dealings with my father. However, I make no secret of the fact that my knowledge of primal beings is scant at best. As such, I should be most grateful if one of your order were to assist me. Allow me, Sir Emmerich. I have dealt with the Nath before. Yeah, back in 3.1. Okay, I have I have an entire let's play Given of this his dedication game, actually. to the study of primal beings. I should be surprised if he could not tell us something of value. Allow me to accompany you, brother. And before you think to refuse, know that I am not the girl I once was. I shall not be a burden. You have my word. So yeah, actually, um, Jim, I have an entire let's play of Aromi Born. 
and also of Heaven's Word up to this point that I'm streaming right now. So if you want to see all the contents that is within Final Fantasy XIV to see if this is a good fit for you, I do have the entire Rami Born Let's Play. Keep in mind, it is 186 videos. And this Heaven's Word Let's Play is into 120 videos. So there is a lot to see. If it's, so, if it's so, something of this scope is something that you're interested in, then I would certainly encourage you to look up the Let's Play to see if what I am doing is of interest to you. But Alize, yeah, meanwhile... You... Yeah, Alphanel kind of shocked that Alice is offering herself to help out. Because <laughs> she ne did not do so for the longest time. You are more than welcome. After all, it was you who set us upon this path. But yeah, I know I'm um, a person who has Wait like a, a 280 video Skyrim Let's Play. Not until you try on the new outfit I prepared for you. Yeah, I, I know. I, yeah, if you think that's a lot, I know of a person um, who has a 280 video Skyrim LP. Just to give you an idea, the, and there's actually someone else that I've actually recently subscribed to, who's got over 760 videos of Elder Scrolls Online. So yeah, what I've done, kind of like drop in the bucket compared to stuff like that. So yeah, Tataru always does um, make sure that when a new character returns that they have something suitable to wear for coming back into the storyline. Many characters have been given this opportunity. To think that the three of us plumbed the depths in the core of the cores and confronted Bahamut himself. Had I not been there, I would struggle to believe it. Shortly after we parted ways, I heard that she had taken to the road on her own. Apparently on a journey of self-discovery. Precisely where to I never learned, though I suspect that was by design. So she enjoyed hearing tales of our exploits, did she? Hmm. Meanwhile, she's come to pay us a visit. My apologies for keeping you waiting. Although, honestly... Like, I don't think it's the- I think sh this look could have been a bit better for her, because brown just isn't her color. Right then, shall we be off? Tartary nearly to ceases to impress. For a moment, I feared she might furnish you with an identical outfit. Praise the twelve, she did not. Mother and father were rather too fond of making us wear matching clothes. Isn't that always the thing with twins, always having them wearing the same outfits? Um, this game actually does use keyboard. It, it, this game is PC compatible, so you can um, get it on PC and play it on keyboard. But I also know that there is an option for you to use a, key, a PS4 keyboard if you have one. Do you remember the time at the studio when that girl of yours crept up behind me in the hall and whispered, Sister, please, she was not my- <coughs> Can we not have this conversation in front of the Warrior of Light? So be it. Another time, perhaps. To be honest, Mathia, I wasn't planning on seeking you out just yet. When I set forth on my journey, I did so with grand ambitions. As you may recall, I promised I would not disappoint you. I pray you will forgive me if I do. What would you say? Pleasure to have you with us. I've been meaning to ask you about the carriage or welcome to the fight. Let's, let's just be dignified about this. <laughs> New garments aside, I must say that you seem more resolute than when we last met. You have the look of a woman who is ready to fight for the future of Eorzea. To the extent of my abilities, perhaps, but I have no delusions of grandeur. Nor will I pretend to have found myself for any such thing. I am here today because I would regret it if I weren't. That is all. Fair enough. Let us depart for the Waking Sands then, and see if Oriange can be of assistance. Now let's get on out of here. 
monthly fee, dep like I said, depends on how much, um, f as far as I know, oh hey there Mint, glad you came in for a cameo, thanks for coming to pay me a visit, and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your night. Um, monthly fee is, um, for, going for monthly fee, if I remember correctly, it's $14 a month if you pay one month at a time. But then you get a better deal if you go quarterly or semi-annually. I'm using a quarterly subscription, but I've been thinking of converting to a semi-annual, just because I won't have to pay as much money if, per month if I pay for a six-month subscription as opposed to a three-month. But yeah, if I remember correctly, it's $14 a month if you're just paying per your subscription per month. And going one month at a time, but if you go quarterly or semi-annually, you can get a better a better deal. So yeah, it's not cheap to play once you actually get your hands on it, but all the content that they give you is well worth the price. And the fact that more content is introduced regularly, on average every three months, um, gives further um, indication as to um, the level of replay value that this game has. So, new stuff gets produced as far as main story, on average three months. Sometimes they'll also introduce new tidbits of gaming material, like new bonus dungeons, new side content, um, in between the period between introductions of main story content. But yeah, main story content does average um, an appearance every three months. And so, when they do bring out new main story content, they often bring out a lot more side dungeons with it, as well as a lot of side challenges as well. Most of them have been featured throughout the videos that I've featured up to this point for both Final Fantasy XIV, uh, Realm Reborn, and Heavensward. So, I mean, I have over 300 videos so far just on Let's Play content of a Realm Reborn. So, the fact that I have over 300 videos is just an indication of um, how much new content is brought into the game regularly. Hey there, Orianger, it's been a while. Orianger, apologies for calling upon you unannounced. Hey there, Orianger, it's been a while. Why, Master Alpha Node? Would that the scholar had seen fit to grant me knowledge of thy coming. What bringeth thee and thine here this day? The wars of darkness have returned. Pray allow us to explain. Yeah. Here's what you need to know about their, their return. And they brought a friend too. I too have heard tales in recent days of primal beings rising up only to be cast down by forces unknown. Alas, as thou didst observe, this serveth but to spur the beast tribes to pursue their goals with redoubled fervor. We have two objectives at that this time, to identify and remove the source of the beast tribes' crystals, and to take direct action to prevent any further summoning rituals from reaching completion. The second is easier said than done, of course. While we were fortunate enough to learn of the Ixtos plans before they came to fruition, I should be surprised that the Warriors of Darkness and the Arsians did not have similar designs elsewhere, of which we have no knowledge. Thou wert wise to come hither, for this very day did I receive tidings most troubling from across the Strait of Melthor. O Gomoro stirreth, and there are whispers that the Lord of Crags neareth his return. Mere rumours mock thou, but in light of thine own discoveries. Thou canst ill afford to turn a deaf ear to their claims. Aye, we must ascertain the truth of the matter for ourselves. Let us consult with the Maelstrom forces stationed at Camp Overlook, Mathia. I believe that's a good idea. Thank you for your counsel, Orianger. Pray inform us should you learn aught else. I shall. So yeah, while we're having this conversation with Uriyanje, yeah, Alice, do you want to intervene? If I may, brother, Uriyanje, is there anything else you would like to say? About what? Yeah, what's going on? 
If not, then never mind. I only ask because you are normally rather more verbose. Nothing to add? Very well. Ere we depart, I wish to make a request. The Warriors of Darkness spoke of how the Order had the power to break down the barriers between planes, that our worlds might be rejoined. I would ask that you research this for us. Being nowhere near as well read as you, I'm sure I wouldn't know where to begin. That said, I've heard tell of a promising tome, the Jaren Oracles. Mayhap you could start there. You're like, why do you have that, that self shown intent look on your face? By thy leave. Cup overlook, was it? Very well. Yeah, like, what's gotten into her? <laughs> Alright, so, Camp Overlook it is. Thankfully, I have this location on my favorites list, so it won't cost me as much to go there. Yeah, it's nice to have you here with us there, Mint. Yeah, th this is, of course, the new brand new content that was just released to the game today. that I'm streaming this evening. So yeah, for the little time that you're here, I hope that you get to enjoy what I ha get to experience here. So we want to speak with Bloden here, who has quite the crowd already. <laughs> Let's see if we can target him. There we go. Seven hells of this rate, I'll have to appeal to Mason Command for reinforcements. Hmm? Whatever it is, we don't want any. I'm not here for that. I'm not a... I'm not a... Traveling salesman. Well, fancy that. Just when my cobalt problems look like they're coming to a head, the signs of the seventh dawn turn up itching to pitch in. Bloody brilliant timing is what it is. Right then, let's get to it. Indeed we shall, with 1,912 gill in tow. So let's complete that. Now let's speak with Commander Bloden for the next challenge entitled Unlikely Allies. Commander Bloden is eager to put you to work. So our friendly neighbors in Ogamoro have gotten much more aggressive of late, just as you said. Matter of fact, our scout spot won't sniff about the stores just now, likely looking to make off with an armful of crystals. I'll be damned if I'm about to let that happen. Lend a hand and help us search the camp for the little bugger, will ya? Indeed we can do that. We have to speak with Alphino first before we proceed. And I need to jump through these crates, apparently. And the rain stops as well. How convenient. Our Maelstrom friends seem notably more agitated than when we first arrived. Do you happen to know why that might be? Why that might be? Well, here's what you need to know, there, off note. A kobold in the camp, you say? Indeed. That would appear to corroborate Oriange's information, yes. But to be so reckless as to infiltrate a maelstrom camp and draw attention to their efforts is passing strange. Well, there will be time to think on this later. For the present, we must do everything in our power to prevent Titan's summoning, and that means finding and questioning this kobold. And so we have to go scattered and look for this little guy. And I'm not kidding when I say that. Because he is indeed just that. Little. How little you might ask? Well, once I show them off to you guys, you'll see what I mean. Yeah, hiding right around here, this koboldling. Yeah, take a look at the size comparison between Mathai and this little guy. I mean, koboids are pretty short, but this guy, whew, this guy's a little puny. Yeah. Apparently, my size scares him. And more likely, my weapon, too. Yeah, we don't have to go all that far to find out where this guy has gone. Because, in fact, he's actually hidden himself right under the stairs. Yeah. He's trying to flee to safety, but he's not going to find it. <laughs> Stay back! I'm way far back! I, I'm not a... not a... It's no use! 
Pointless, hopeless, no use! And so off he scurries again! Just as the fate cues in! Yeah, that was kind of convenient. The little kobold Ling departs, and a fate starts in its place. <laughs> well, yeah, well. It, it, it is quite a large weapon, make no mistake about it. So for this next part, if I can just angle the camera right, we should be able to see him right over here. There we go. Yeah, you can only ca you can only get here from up t from that side because if we go over here, that's a drop down point. So we have to come from the way that we did to find him again. Please don't hurt me. I only wish to talk. Yes, yes, just talk. I'm like ah! Yes, we gotta continue chasing him. But yeah, there's no way I'd be able to jump up there from this vantage point. Just to, um, prove what I was talking about. Now, if I remember correctly, he should be... Um, okay, yeah, he's out here in the open where everyone else is. Okay. Yeah, everyone else was actually hiding him. <laughs> he, hid, he hid in plain sight. <laughs> This was a stupid plan. Stupid, stupid, stupid. But, but if I tell no one, then everyone will. Hey, what's going on, little guy? Ah, he found me again! What to do, what to do, what to do! I, I won't come in peace, only to talk, speak, say, talk. So, so please, please do not hurt me. So this is why all- so this is all Wally Kobold Infiltrator, is it? No wonder the soldiers were on edge. He could very well give one a bruised knee. Huzzah! We got him! Fine work, Silence! So little one, thought you could sneak into my cult, did ya? Plotting to steal my crystals, were ya? No, no, no! I came to talk, to, to ask for help! But when your soldiers saw me, they drew their weapons and shouted and I... I... Now, now, let us all take a deep breath and discuss us like civilized individuals. What is your name, child? Uh, Pikmin Bakabu of the 620th Order. At least I will be a Pikmin one day. Well, Metgabu, I am Alphanode and this is my sister Alice. Mathiah, the man who found you is our friend. And now that you know our names, we can be friends too. Yeah, look at Alice's look like, are you sure about this? Now Commander Bloden here thinks you wanted to take his crystals, Gabu. But you said you came to us for our help. Why to us and not your own people? What happened, Gabu? Can you tell us? I am... Uh... Like, take your time, little one. Or I'll say, try and offer some persuasion. Yeah. No one is going to hurt you, alright? Not while we're here, I promise. Uh, the, the, the Patriarch! He's... Uh, the Patreon is going to summon the Great Father again and you have to stop him! Beat him! Fight him! Stop him! Yeah, that's not good. They want Titan back again for another round. Gabu's parents said they didn't want it, along with many others, but the Patriarch wouldn't listen. He was so angry, raging, fuming, angry! He said that if they didn't have iron in their hearts, they would serve as coke for the furnace, and then the guards took my parents and the others away, and I haven't seen any of them since! Coke for the furnace? I did not want to believe it, but I have heard tales of foci fashioned from the bones of beastmen, which worshippers use in their rituals, hoping to summon more powerful incarnations of their gods. Which means, not good. By the twelve, that is... that is sickening! No, 
one listens to Gabu, no matter how much he cries. Please, Banks cries! They do not listen, only talk about punishing the overdwellers and praising the Great Father! Gabu loves the Great Father, but he loves his parents too! So please, help Gabu stop the Patriarch and save his parents! Yeah, we've got a job to do. Commander, advise Maelstrom Command that Titan summoning is imminent. Should the worst come to the worst, we will require their support. Time being of the essence, we three will attempt to infiltrate the Kobold stronghold, secure their crystals, crystals, <laughs> and free the prisoners. Well, if you're sure, you'll forgive me if I don't seem optimistic. We'll make ready just in case. So go away goes the commander. So yeah, we gotta speak with Alphano to continue on. I have faith that we may yet stop the ritual. We would have surely detected the associated etheric disturbance had Titan manifested already. But I cannot speak for the prisoners. Twelve have mercy that they would even contemplate sacrificing their own flesh and blood. Brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers. Time is of the essence. We must see what else Garbu knows and formulate a plan without further delay. Well, at least you got to see this hilarious part there, Mint, so I'm glad you could join us. But I can assure you people that what happens next is anything other than hilarious. So yeah, so somewhere in here is Gabu, and he actually has the next quest for us. And that's known as the Beast That Mourned at the Heart of the Mountain. Shifting nervously from foot to foot, Gabu struggles to meet your gaze. I heard Great Father Titan loves crystals, cherishes, covets, loves them, and if we gather enough, he will return. That's where the Patriarch told everyone to go forth and gather them. Yeah, got, got that out of the way. Thanks whoever did that, appreciate it. So I was thinking, if we take all the crystals away, maybe the Great Father won't come? Very good, Gabu. I was just thinking the same thing. Do you know where these crystals are stored? Several spots, each defended by a different order! Gabu wanted to steal them, but he was too afraid to go alone. Yes, yes, too afraid to go alone. But together, we can take them away and hide them. Come, come, Gabu will lead you to the first cache. So away he goes, without, a, without an Odin in hot pursuit. So, we want to follow them eastward for this first part. As soon as I can remember where East is. Yeah, if I remember correctly, it's going to be on the far opposite side of the of the canyon here. Although I don't know if I would necessarily call it a canyon either. It's more of an open pit mine. Which is pretty much what kobolds are. They're miners. So yeah, here's Gabu next to some crystals that have been extracted. Quickly, quickly! Yeah, he lets us know, and then we go ahead and remove the cache of crystals, just like that. And they get stored in that Pseudo-Magitek armor. <laughs> yeah, they'll make good energy for a Pseudo-Magitek armor. Do you have the mole? Good. Lead on, Gabu. This way, this way! Yeah, that actually worked out quite conveniently. Yeah, stand in front of the crystals, take them away, and shove them up the between the legs of a pseudo-magitek armor. <laughs> Seriously, you cannot script that stuff. That, you just cannot script that stuff. That is hilarious. So now we're really getting into the heart of the kobold's domain. More stuff over here now. Here's another cache of crystals for us to take. As soon as I can... Lock onto it. There we go. But now we go into cutscene for this part. Time is short. If you have the crystals, we should move on to the next cache. Did you hear me, brother? Brother? Aye, aye, it's just that. What are you looking at, Alphanode? 
I am quite certain that the crate once bore Ishgardian seals. Someone took great pains to remove all traces, but enough remains to make up the pattern. See for yourself. I struggled to imagine kobolds travelling to Kethis to obtain more crystals, much less bothering to conceal their origins. I suspect these crystals were smuggled into Valbrand by another party, most likely upon of the Asians as Thancred speculated. Yeah, that's not good. We gotta deal with it. I don't understand! Who are the Asians? Do they worship Great Father Titan too? Ah, oh, never you mind about that. As Alice said, we do not have a lot of time. Can you lead us to the next Kash, Gabu? Yes, 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 of course! Gabu knows the way! This next one is the last, and it's very large! Very big, very huge, very large! Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go after it! And no, away we go again! Yeah, now we're actually gonna go into the Ugamaro mine, it's mine itself. For this last part. Oh, no, actually, no, not yet. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Where is that some collection of crystals? Well, actually, it's not the crystals we're looking for, we're just standing here. But why are we standing here when there's no crystals? Though you cast about for a time, you see no sign of the crystals. And cutscene again. Confound it. What about you, Matthias? Any luck? I'm afraid not. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing! But this cannot be! Gabu saw them! Spied, saw, and saw! Think, brother, think. They must have moved them, yes? The question is where to and why? Within Ogomoro, where they summoned Titan once before and mean to do so again, it is the only explanation. What about Mother and Father and the others? We have to help them! And we will, Gabu, we will. Stay calm, we still have time. They have yet to call for the remaining crates, yes? If they had, then they would have found the other caches empty and sounded the alarm. Nevertheless, I believe the time for stuff has passed. We must, we must breach the navel and seize the remaining crystals. There is no other way to prevent Titan's summoning. But first, give me your crystals that I might deliver them into Commander Bloden's custody. We dare not take them into the bowels of the mountain. Well said. But yeah, that's a smart idea. And we have to uh, actually pass the crystals to Alpha Node, literally. There you go. Thank you. I shall deliver them to Camp Overlook for safekeeping and brief Commander Blood in on the situation. Pray go on ahead. As I recall, there is an Aetherite within the Ogamaro mines that should deliver you to the naval. Garbu doubtless knows the way. Wait for me there, and I shall rejoin you anon. Strange. I would have thought you eager to remain in the thick of the action. But if this is what you prefer, then gold speed, brother. This way, this way! Oh yeah, there he is. And off they go. Now we're going into the mine. Yeah, I forgot about that one part. Yeah, now we're going in. Now we're going in and nothing can stop us. Not even these kobolds who, thanks to the 10 level plus rule, don't attack me. Those of you who have never played this before, um, an enemy that has a red icon next to their name will be considered feral and will attack you if you get in range. But they don't. But they stop coming after you if your experience level is more than ten levels higher than mine. So since these guys are at level forty-eight, but I'm at experience level sixty, they don't come and attack me. Yeah, enemies with a blue icon, if they have a blue icon next to their name, then they are considered to not be feral. And then, the only way that they attack you is if you attack them first. So we want to maneuver our way right into here where all these people are. And find Alice amongst the 
throng of humanity. Ah, oh, as I take it, this is the etherite we seek? Right then. As soon as Alpha Node arrives, we go. I trust you're feeling suitably heroic, Mathia. There's no telling what sort of resistance we'll face in there. And cutscene. So yeah, we return to Titan's Domain. And this is where they're getting ready to summon him. Quickly, you clods! Brick, briskly, swiftly, quickly! I will not suffer any further delays! But yeah, now you have this delay. Lay down your arms and surrender. We have your crystals. There'll be no summoning this day. Yeah, sorry. Overdwellers! Here! But how did you? Where are my parents, Patriarch? Where are they? Yeah, if you're looking for an answer... Okay, yeah, thanks for um, bad bloods. Um, thanks for coming to pay us a visit this evening. Glad, glad you could join us. Mother? Father? Yeah, I think they're dead. Coke for the furnace? You monster, how could you? We are but the servants of the Lord of Crags. We are his, that he may drink of our blood and partake of our flesh, that he might draw upon the strength of his children and defend them from the tyranny of the Overdwellers. No, Anasay, not yet. Yeah, like, what else do you have to say to me? I understand, Patriarch. I do. Your fear, your anger, your hate. You would do anything to protect your people. Anything to deliver them from despair. Whatever it takes to ensure that those who threaten you cannot never do so again. But in your single-minded pursuit of this objective, you have brought suffering on your own kith and kin. You have sacrificed the very lives of the people you sought to protect. But it need not be this way, Patriarch. Renounce this bloody course. Cease your attempts to summon your god and work with us together to build a lasting peace. Another peace to be abandoned at the Overdweller's convenience. Oathbreakers, lol of you! Liars, betrayers, oathbreakers! You take and you take and you take, and when you have had your fill, you sue for peace. You promise that this time, this time is the last, until you grow hungry again! And when we dare to defend ourselves, you declare that this beast tribe cannot be suffered to live. That our god drains the land of Aether and brings naught but suffering, death, destruction, suffering upon us all! I will hear no more lies from you and yours, Overdweller. You've ruined our own land. You've ruined your own lands. You'll not ruin ours! Yeah, meanwhile... Yeah, Gabu is heartbroken over the death of his parents. I said I'd come for you, and I did! I'm here, I'm here, I'm here! Say something, please! Please? Yeah, they're not waking up, unfortunately. Please! Yeah, and the crystal is used to summon Titan? Well, if you can believe it. Yep, Titan is being summoned but not in the way that it's typically done. Wake up! Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up! Wake up! Yeah, and the sadness of his um, parents' death, Titan has been summoned by him, by Gabu, and not by the Patriarch. 
Which is why, when Titan looks at the kobolds over on the left, the underlings of the Patriarch, yeah, he smacks them away. As well as the Patriarch. Yeah, this version of Titan is pretty much all feral and answers to no one. Seven hells. Yeah. And, yeah, so... I'm here, I'm here, I'm here! Yeah, then even Gabu is about to get it. Yeah. Well, even to me! Yeah, we're gonna try and save Gabu by having Alpha Node stick a carbuncle on Titan's face. We must away! Yeah, we're gonna warp Gabu out of here. Yeah, like, alright, fine. Yeah, because there's no way I can do this upcoming fight alone. <laughs> yeah. A carbuncle stuck on Titan's face. It's like, get this thing off of me! Alright, so now we have to speak with Alpha Note again. Where is he? He's over here. By the Twelve, how can I be so foolish? I should have known better than to let Gabu accompany us, given what we would like to find. His anguish and despair have served to birth a primal just as surely as would the supplications of the faithful. Worse, being born of such tumultuous emotion, this incarnation of Titan seems incapable of all of not but violence. If we have one cause for optimism, it is that while many crystals were present, they represented but a fraction of the quantity intended for the summoning ritual. Meaning that Titan must be far weaker than planned. Be that as it may, he is yet a primal, and the longer we leave him to bleed the land of Eth, the stronger he will grow. And should Titan be permitted to leave Orgomoro, more lives will be lost. The Maelstrom will rally their troops, and the cycle will continue. Mathia, you know what must be done. Will you face the Lord of the Crags once more? Indeed I will. Thank you, my friend. Alice and I will tend to Garbu. When you are finished with the Primal, look for us in Camp Overlook. We will be expecting you. So way he, so yeah, away they go. And meanwhile, we have to now use the Duty Finder to do the hard mode of the Titan fights.